Okay, what's up Dragon Brew? Today we're gonna have some fun with deserts, lands, and some big dumb silly cards. And a card that I don't know if I've ever played in a video on this channel. So let's talk about it. Now, starting at the top, we're playing some Get Lost because we do need some removal in here. And we are gonna have this as a third color just because of deserts, so we figured might as well go for it. We do also have some Negate, and I kind of wanted a different counter here, but ultimately, Negate's cheap, and most of the stuff we're worried about are going to be non-creatures anyway. We are going to play Azusa's Mini Journeys, because we do have a lot of lands, and being able to ramp up is good, especially considering we don't have much to do on turn 2, other than Bristly Bill. But since we're playing so many land, I figure why not give Bill a shot. Then of course we do have Free Strider Lookout, which helps us go find more of our deserts, and ultimately, as we're criming, and that does count for countering or killing stuff with Get Lost, we can actually go find more of those lands. Greenblade, also getting to take a little bit of advantage of us searching for lands, particularly deserts, so nothing surprising there. I do have an extra Polacrano seating up a spot here, and this might eventually become the fourth negate, but for now, I did want one more thing that could block some flyers. Additionally, we do get mana fairly quickly. We could turn this into a 6-6 and do some work with it. Also, Colossal Rattleworm. This is fun. We're playing deserts. It helps us ramp with deserts, so why not? Now, this is the card we I don't think I've ever played. Seriously. If I did, it might have been one time forever ago, but it actually works here. So Kura the Boundless Guy does one of two things when it dies. Either it goes and gets us three lands and puts them under our hand, which are probably all deserts, which we use to trigger things. Or when it dies, we just make a big XX, which is equal to the number of lands we control. And we're hoping to have a lot of lands. So hopefully this gets to do what we want and it does get to block some flyers, which is nice. Additionally, we're going to play a full set of Bonnie Paul Clear Cutter. This gets us two creatures, one which is a 6-5 with reach, one which is bigger equals the number of lands we control, and whenever we attack, not even attack with this, whenever we attack we get to draw a card, then I can put a land card from our hand or graveyard onto the battlefield. So, can keep getting more lands, can keep finding us more cards. So, we like all of this, hopefully it works out the way we want. As always, we'll put a link in the description below if you want to try this out for yourself, but I would say buckle in and let's see if this actually beats anything while we're hunting for all of our lands. Oh man, this is bad. I'm gonna mulligan. That hand just felt like it wasn't gonna, and this is actually not much better. I can say the hand didn't feel like it was gonna get us too far. Uh, oh boy, what are we doing here? Guess I'm gonna get rid of the gate. We'll just ride without it. Oh, this sucks. This is a game we're definitely going to need negates. Blue whites is uh, not where you want to be without the negate. All right, we kind of sort of found some lands. I guess we do this. Let right, ping them for one. In the turn, they can draw some cards or something. They did not. All right, let's see what we get to do here. I mean, we found a desert. All right, I'm assuming this will get countered or killed. All right, well, we get to do this first no matter what, so that's good. I mean, they have something here. I don't know what it is. I think we're going to go ahead and just ping them. Get one that has extra white mana. Not that I think we desperately need it, but... What do we got going on here? They want to march that? That's fair. Actually, that's good. They're using a march and get rid of a card? Oh, they have final showdown. All right, that's good to know. We know a thing now that we didn't know a second ago. That's always good. All right, we're gonna go Bristly Bill. And then ping the opponents. Putting a counter on Bill, I guess. All right, pass the turn. I'm assuming they're gonna go looking Stoic Sphinx? Wow! Hadn't seen anybody play that card. That's cool. Um, we could try to kill the Sphinx here. Maybe I do, just to see if we can, like, force them to use their Sweeper this turn. If they have one. And then we just try to Bonnie Paul the follow-up, I think. 
That's interesting. Ah, uh, man. All right. What are we hoping to do here? We know they discarded a final showdown, so they might just have an extra one this turn. I think I'm just going to attack with these. There's a Wandering Emperor. There's a Wandering Emperor. There was not a Wandering Emperor. What? All right, I'm going to do this. Assume there's a showdown or something. Maybe there's a thing that just... Okay, farewell. That makes sense. All right, well, we saved it for this scenario. Let's see what happens. Got another one? This is probably just the all sweeper uh, control deck, but we'll see. Nope. Bonnie Paul gets there. Uh, yeah, we'll keep this. Got a rattle worm. Ooh. Well, at least we'll get three life from this guy, right? Gotta look at the positives. <laughs> I mean, here's the thing, though, right? If we can find another land, we can maybe play a rattle worm. We'll see where things go. I don't know. We have a shot, though. That's the thing. I kind of want to draw a desert right now so that we can play the desert as our bonus land and then we could flash in Rattleworm. I think that'll be our best sequence here if we can get it. We did not get it. Okay, so now we're in a little bit of a trouble spot here. Because, I mean, I guess we could just play Rattleworm straight up if we had to. And then the worst case scenario after that would be... Alright, they don't seem to have much here, though. Hmm. That sucks. Uh, well, we gained three. We're at 18. We could play this, play a land. This becomes a 3-3. Three, three. Alright, I mean, we'll do what we can do here. Alright. I don't expect Bristly Bill to live very long, but... Oh, wait, if that's all they got, maybe. Okay. Okay, they had a land, but it's colorless. Cool. All right, we're at 15. We're, we're still cooking a little bit. All right. This ain't bad. We, we could work with this. Let's, uh... Hmm. This counter is going to go on here. And then, should I be attacking for three here? I don't think so. We could also use this to double a number of plus one plus one counters. And a weird pinch, like we block and we think they're not going to have more than five damage or something. They do have three cards and that slick shot could do a bunch here depending on what they have. Double slick shot, ugh, that's gross. Am I going to have to use, like, Get Lost in a negate? Oh, I can't even use Get Lost yet. I didn't draw a white land. All right. How bad is this going to hurt? Just two? Okay. All right. That could have been way worse. Come on, untapped land. A Bonnie Paul here would be so big, having a big reach creature. Oh, that sucks. Oh, that hurts. Okay, well, what's our other choices here? I guess we're attacking with a 6-6 six, six and a 3-3? Three, three? We had 13. I'm just like, is there a way we lose here? All right, we got to try. I almost want to just attack with the 4-4 also. But here's the thing. They could activate their land and block with Swift Spear. I mean, but then we could just pump and counters. All right, sure. Let's let's go. I don't know how we die, but I have a feeling we'll die. We just we're just going to have to deal with it one way or the other. 
I mean, that's 10, 11, 12, 13. We can do 14, 15. That's not nearly enough. All right. I'm taking a big gamble here. I mean, just a couple of spells and we're dead. We can counter one burn spell and not take damage. So we'll see. But, you know, a couple of play with fires or rages and we're dead. All right, Fugitive does have haste, so that's a bit annoying. What is that last card? Is it a rage? Brotherhood's end. What? Okay, cool. Uh, oddly, I don't really understand, but unless this deck is worried about a lot of small artifacts from the opponent, I'm not really sure why this is playing Brotherhood's end, because that kills pretty much everything in this deck, including their best creature. I mean, I guess there's a world where you could play it against... Boros counters and just take your time and then try to play your stuff afterwards, but yeah, that that was a surprise card to see for sure. This is a bit of a weird hand, but I guess we'll try it. I mean, sometimes this deck's just gonna draw strangely, and you just we just gotta deal with it. Sucks when you're really not on the play, but don't have a lot of choice here. Not even sure if I want another untapped land here or not. Like, what type of situation we're looking at. I think opponent's just going to get us here. This hand's a bit too awkward, I think. Yeah, we're going to die to skeletons here. Um. Alright. I mean, we can play Bill, make a 3-3. Probably dies on their turn after that. Or is forced to chump block something. But, not sure what else we do otherwise. I mean, I got nothing, opponent. Feel free to do whatever you want during this attack step. Pretty sure you got this locked up. Okay, that was a strange pause during the combat step. I don't know what they could play or not there, but... Okay. Well, I guess we're going to play Bill. Take the risk that Bill just dies when we try to put a plus one, plus one on him. See if we could do stuff with... The lookout. Yeah, they obviously have a creature kill spell here. Okay. Yeah, obviously we're setting up to kill our creature, but that's okay. I mean, there's nothing else we can do. It's not like we weren't going to play the only card we could realistically play in our hand. Good news is, though, we do have some white mana. We could set up. Some get lost type plays. I guess I could have played the Lonely Arroyo so we could try to double get lost. I mean, it's kind of gross, but there are some scenarios where that would have been good, I guess. On the next turn. But we'll see. I mean, I'm also just going to have to be brave enough to block and just let some stuff die if possible, but we'll see. Interesting that they didn't want to kill our dude, which means it's maybe a sorcery speed thing here. Minus three, minus three. And that would make sense. Oh, wow. That to kill that? Whoa, okay. Definitely didn't see that coming. Uh, all right. I think we just pass. And we're going to take a lot of damage either way. So these, this next turn or two is going to be a little bit tough. All right, Merrick's into Bloodseeker. Target player mills two cards. All right, I guess we mill two cards. You got me. Any chance you can put some of them rattle worms over there? Nope, not at all. All right, this is when you control no suspected skeletons. Well, I couldn't block the other one anyway, so I have to just block the miner. If I even get to, they probably have... Instant speed kill card here. No? Hmm. Alright, I have no idea how this happened, but... We're still playing some magic. Um... 
As much as I would like to do some crime in here, I don't think that's what we're going to do. I think we're going to just play this so we have another blocker. Because I think I want to be able to get lost, I think is the game plan here. Especially if like a shield rid or if they're playing this silly thing, the big bat guy or whatever shows up. like to be able to kill it. All right, so we'll just pass the turn here. Tiny bones, tiny bones. All right. You get to do a thing, tiny bones. Sucks having to waste to get lost on a tiny bones, but I think... Well, I mean, I guess we can make tiny bones not block. Uh, we do have a bill in our graveyard they could replay, but... It's not the most exciting thing. All right, let's see what they find. There is the blood letter of Aklazots. We'll probably be seeing that next turn. All right. So now, no matter what, we have to try to hold on to a get lost. It's basically the situation we're in now. And we are still just at 8, so we have to be careful because if they top deck a Corpse of the Lost, that could be dangerous as hell for us too. But we're not in a great spot here. There are many, 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 many things that could get us dead. But if they attack, we could double block the 2-1. They would get to solve their case, but that would take the bulk of their turn... And the case would already be gone, and then we just can save the get loss for blood letter. I think. And we might be able to get them in a couple of turns. So yeah, this is this is gonna be a tighter finish than I want it to be, but you know, that's the type of deck this is. You're gonna be playing from behind quite a bit. Just uh as I say, cost of doing business if you're gonna play something like this. Alright, they're just saying it's our turn. Let's go ahead and get rid of Tiny Bones in case we decide to attack. And that is considered Crimen. So we will put another White Land into play. Ping the opponent. Mm. Alright, we can activate our Creature Land. Not quite enough. Go ahead and Surveil. Don't want that. <laughs> Definitely do not want. Okay. So what are our options here? We attack. Yeah, I mean, sure. We just attack for six here. I mean, we can double block. I mean, we can activate our creature land and still use get lost. One, two, three, four, five land. Yeah. So we're okay for the most part here, I think. And if they all out attack, then we'd be able to... Turn strike for lethal. Alright, we get a miner back. We can't block. Alright, that seems fine. We could crime them for a point by getting a desert. Alright. Still not bad. Just kinda gotta be careful here, that's all. We found another land. Which I'm sure they're gonna crack the other one now. As they should. Alright, found yet another land. So that works out well for us. Uh, I think we can safely go to six here. I don't think we really need to kill that 2-2. Two -two. Not yet. Alright, I'm going to block. See what the opponent's up to. They might just be doing it to gain the two life or whatever. Alright. We can live with that. Still can use the rattle worm here. Get to do some criming. Maybe get to do some criming. Apparently the opponent has an action here they can take. Alright. Uh... Is there a particular one of these you want? I guess not. Any of these will do at this point. Uh, I guess we'll get a blue-green one. 
ping the opponent. We'll get to search for another one. Ping them for two more. Or for one more, I should say. All right. They don't have anything that blocks here. So we could attack. Get in for eight. Shoot them for one. That's not enough. We need one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we could still flash in a rattle worm. Hmm. We can save this if they try to play another uh, Corpse of the Lost. Ugh, what are we trying to do here, man? Being at six. All right, I think I'm going to attack him for three. Just to try to set up a kill. And then I think I'm just going to play this and not ping them. So I have enough mana to do everything I need to do. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. All right. Blood letter down. Uh, opponent's trying to go for the kill here. I'm going to go ahead and activate this. Opponent is not responding with anything. Kill a blood letter. Do some criming. Get this so we can ping them. Alright, block this. Go to four. And did we get there is the question. There it's seven. We still have a point in hand. Man, this is a close one. Wow, they're really debating. They might have a kill spell in hand for one of our creatures, y'all. We're going to have to be real careful. Like, this sucks, but we might only be able to attack for five. Just to not die. I mean, I say that. We, I guess we just have to go for it. Because even if they play... Well, hmm. No, because if they played one of the other things, they attack with a four power thing we can't block. Oh, man. This is going to be tough. Actually, not true, because we have... Well, we would need a desert to be in our top five cards. Because we could ping them. This lets us search for a desert, ping them. Well, no, but even then, if they kill this, we're in the same situation. So it wouldn't really matter. Actually, no, that is correct. Because even if they killed the vine stock, we'd have mana left over to be able to play a rattle worm. So that's okay, I guess. Oh, good times. Opponent had all the kill spells and the crazy combo, but looks like we're going to get the win, and they're going to rope out, but that's okay. That's a good feel. I I feel like the opponents don't understand that every time you rope, it makes the other person feel good because they know they won. They, like, got under your skin. Ooh, we'll take that win. Okay, what are we doing here? I guess we're keeping it. Oh, no. Oh. This is going to be a tough one. I don't know if we can beat enchantments. Yeah. All right. I'm willing to just GG's the opponent here. Like, there's virtually no way we're going to win this, right? Oh, I should have played the botanical sanctum there. What am I doing? Yeah, obviously we're going to kill Calyx because that's stupid not to. Yep. Oh my gosh. All right. Kill this dude. Yeah, I don't know how in the world we remotely get out of this. Without being on the play, I don't think we have a shot here. But hey, we were due for a loss, so I can't be that upset about it. Oh, uh, what does this look like here? All right, we do this. Play this. I mean, I should have played the Sanctum. So this is going to cost me. Because now I can't really do anything big on four. All right, GG's. We can go and pass on. They, they've got this. We're, we're not coming back from that. Okay, let's keep this. Long-term plan? Let's see if we can get a Bonnie Paul down this game. 
Short term plan, pray that Bill doesn't die. All right, that actually helps. So now we could play a green blade on three. It'd only be a two, three, but that's fine. All right, Bill didn't make it. Sucks to be you, Bill. I think, though, we just go here, play the other Bill. If they're just on the heavy removal plan, so be it. Hopefully they have to use a real removal and not any of the stuff that just does, like, minus three, minus three, or whatever. Right? Not even that. Okay, cool. Then we will go here. Go get another desert, which has blue in it. And then we will play that, which further pumps the green blade. And makes this a 4-4. Four, four. And we'll attack. Alright. And even if they have something like Shieldred here, we'll just play Get Lost. So building some sizable bodies, even though we lost that first bill, which is kind of nice. What's the trap here? All right, I'm your Huckleberry, I guess. Like Giant Gross or something? Sure. Is that one of those ones when it dies, it comes back into play or whatever? Oh, it just goes back to hand, even. Okay. Sure. And now Bill's dead? All right. Hey, that's a good turn for the opponent. Respect. Ooh. I think, though, as much as I want to play Kura, because I haven't ever really cast that card, I think I'm going to go here. Pass. So if they do play something, we can target it with the Get Lost. That lets us crime, get a land, then we can play Bonnie Paul next turn. Because there's a good chance they're just going to play Sentinel again or Shield right here, if they drew it. Eh, possibly Aklazots or something, too, I guess. Or just Gold Vein Hydra. Sure. Uh, You know what? I think I'm still willing to give them the mana. I'm down. Like, this is a good enough situation for us to get an advantage, so I'm, I'm into this. Like, they'll have a ton of mana next turn, and they can do whatever the hell they want, but... We're just gonna go for it. And then we get to attack. Draw a card. It is not a land, but we get to put a land into play for free. Not that we needed it. Surveil. We will definitely leave that on top. All right. So now we got a 6-5, a 3-3, three, three, a 7-7. Seven, seven. Some stuff that can do some criming. We have a big dragon. A eh, mid-sized dragon. Not really a big dragon. But this should be pretty good here. They have a lot of mana, though. All right. So they have another Hydra. You got it. I mean, that's a big Hydra. If they want it to be, it's 6-6. Six, six. I mean, we can block it with our 7-7. Seven, seven. So they're just cycling mana and then die. Yeah, I don't know. Just these cards that, like, return a thing to your hand or return a stuff from the graveyard to the battlefield. Like, just... They don't seem to ever do enough. But I see a lot of people want to play them. If, you're, if it's not, like, a key card that's, like, you're trying to protect a combo piece or something, I don't know if I want to play it. Wow, do you have another Annihilating Glare? That'd be gross. Nope, they just have a Hydra now. A 3-3 three, three Hydra. Uh, looks like that's... Eh, they still have mana. And they didn't use it on a Hydra, so they've got something here. Uh, not blocking, because they probably have another one of these silly cards. That gives it plus two or whatever. So, sure. Get it out of the way. I mean, we have a backup get lost. Until end of turn? Okay. Sure. Okay, we get to go first. This is not a very good hand, though. I think I'm going to mulligan this. Might have been a big mistake. <laughs> Should have kept the other one and gambled. Ah, well. 
Oh, why did I not play the Sanctum first there? That was stupid. Alright, well, we can't do anything here anyway, so... Mulligan to medium hand into a terrible hand to not do anything here, effectively. Yeah, this feels real bad. I mean, we're still gonna do it. But we know that this doesn't do a whole lot. Uh, yeah, take one of the ones that has white, I guess. Then cut down my green blade. I mean, they could kill our dude, then play it, go search for a basic. I mean, that's a real thing. They could also do a slick thing here where they could attack. I don't block. Now that they know I'm not going to block, kill our thing, it goes to the graveyard. You know, that whole sequence. But, but, they apparently did nothing. So what if we play this? Test the waters a little bit. Alright. I mean, I wouldn't say we're cooking, but we're, we're not crying. <laughs> I mean, like, this is okay, I guess. Uh, do we need another blue? No, we have multiple blue. Do I want land untapped, maybe, next turn, to try to play Hura? Uh, maybe. We'll take this. And we get to Surveil, also. Don't want to attack here. Not yet. I think we'll try to defend against the Tiny Bones in our graveyard. And I'm also willing to just give up the Rattle Worm to the Tiny Bones, since it ramps us up into Bonnie Paul as well. If it comes down to that. Opponent's not played anything, and they're playing black green, so you know. This is a little suspicious. I mean, I would block there. I wouldn't like it, but I would block. <laughs> One of those ones where you go like, ah, I guess this is what I gotta do. Oh, look out. Um, you are not what we want, really. You are just not the card. Okay, I'm willing to attack with one of these at this point. See how it feels. They might have some silly card to protect the tiny bones or something too here. Uh, they were just waiting to murder a thing? Okay. That? Interesting. <laughs> like, not the line of play I thought I was going to see there. Now is there like an Aklazots or something? Oh, sure. So we're doing Fight Clubby things with Death Touch boys. Respect. They didn't try to fight anything. All right. Well, I guess I gotta try. If they can protect it, they can protect it. There's nothing I can do. Yep. Sure. We're going to get fight clubbed our brains out, folks. Alright, I guess this is kind of all we can do. If they got it, they got it. We just give them the GG's. We didn't have a negate to protect against a fight spell or anything, so... I will queue up the GG for them. I mean, just target one of our duders. We're, we're dead, opponent. Won't be able, be able to cast anything. We're just toast. I mean, I guess if they don't have the fight spells, they just don't have it. But I would be a little bit surprised. All right. I'll at least block. I mean, they're just getting overly crafty here to eventually fight something anyway. Looks like they do have it. No? Hmm. Um. I kind of want to make the creature land thing. But. I don't I don't even know what's happening right now. I'm just going to get lands. Like I don't. I for real don't know what's happening. 
Let's get a vine stalk, I guess. Well, actually, no, let's get this. Because then they can't block, so that's good. We'll take at least one pain desert. I'll get one land that comes into play untapped. And that seems okay. I mean, as soon as I get a fight spell, we're toast. I mean, let's be honest. All right. They didn't have it, though, I guess. So we're just going to Bonnie Paul it up, I suppose. I mean, I don't know what else we're going to do here. Oh, well, there's the fight spell. So now, unless we find a spell to kill that. Yeah, we can't win now. All right. GG's. We actually literally can't win now. All right. We needed one more removal spell for that dude. Or a counter, which we don't have. Okay. I guess we keep this. I don't know if a turn to negate is going to do anything, but that's kind of all we have here. We're just going to try to set up stuff the rest of the way. I mean, there's a chance maybe they try to do something. Nope, they did not. Okay. Then I think we're just going to play a little 2-3 here and go hunt. We have two lands with blue already. None with white. We have a white one in hand. I think we'll snag this. I think our plan is just play lookout into a desert. Get another desert anyway. Is our plan. Alright, Green Blade, are you dead? Alright. Here's somebody trying the Just Guy spell stuff. Let's go here. Go ahead and get one of these down. Ping the opponents. We'll get one of these. Ping the opponents. We'll attack for four. All right. And then if we don't get an untapped land, we can leave up get lost plus negate and see what that can do for us. And then hopefully Bonnie Paul plus her big ox friend. Is it, does that ox have a name? It's not like, oh, it is Bo. Yeah, it's legendary. <laughs> sure. So we're going to double fire this dude. You have to cast that next turn. So you have to have another lightning strike or something now. Okay, that's fair. That deals two more. Fair. That works. Sure, we'll take five. I'm into it. Ping the opponents. Go search for a land. We will take Botanical Sanctum, I think? Hmm. I don't think making something not blocks that important here. Uh, let's see. We have two, four, five. So we kind of get to do get lost in the gate, and that's it. All right. Tag for three. I think we're going to go ahead and just uh, kill this. Pass the turn. Probably just going to counter the lightning helix, maybe. I assume that's what's going to go off here. Oh, an Angel Fire Ignition. You are not nice, friend. You are not nice. Look at you. Do some more Crimin. Get a land. They appear to be out of mana. Alright, they still get to do that for free. We can't stop that. Alright, they're shooting us. They do get to draw a card. We have two, four, six, eight. So we might as well... Uh, Bill and Bonnie Paul here. Also good that we have a backup Bonnie Paul, which is awesome. Or maybe it's Bonnie Pal. I don't know. I've been saying it like I'm just Southern Country. <laughs> All right. How bad is it? Lila. Lila doesn't really scare us here. Okay. We play a land. We pump Bonnie Paul. We attack. Okay, opponent scoops anyway. Which, to be fair, kind of makes sense, right? We pay a land. We pump Bonnie Paul. We attack. Actually, I probably just put it on the uh, bill. We attack with everybody. We get to draw a card. Possibly play something. Even if they were, they can't double block to kill Bonnie Paul or they take 11. If they split their blocks, they have nothing left on their turn except 
maybe top deck something plus Angel Fire, but then they just die the next turn. So fortunately, that worked out okay for us. Crazy. Yeah, I'm just, I don't know, we talked about this on the stream that we did earlier today. If you're trying to do uh, just guy spells or is it spells, it's still struggling. I don't know what the build needs to look like, but there's somewhere there that it's maybe possible. But so far, everything I've tried has not been good. And uh, same when I've talked to other content creators. Uh, I don't know what it's going to take, but good luck to whoever builds it. If you have a good version, hop in my Discord and let me see it, because I'd be interested in sharing it with people. Okay, uh, thoughts on this one. We really didn't get to see much of Kura in action, nor Polacrano, so I don't know if they're just taking up space or they are the cards that we want. I do know, though, we want either something to remove graveyards, which there are a couple of things in green, or we would like something to, I guess, counter stuff. Because there are some combos going around that can, re uh, I would say, animate things out of the graveyard or whatever. That's a real thing to be concerned about right now. Polokranos helps in some spots, not so much in others. We do have ways to ramp, so... I guess the problem here is we just don't have a ton of creatures. We've got 23, which is nice. I think that's a good number. I just don't know if we can afford to go lower than that because we're always going to be playing from behind. And Pulacranos helps a lot being a 4-5 and being able to block flyers. We do actually have some ability with Free Strider Lookout and stuff, so that's fair. But we don't have really any life gain without the Pulacranos, but with only one, we weren't going to have that much anyway. So... Here's another option. We could cut Polokranos. We can cut Akura. We could play... Uh, what's the thing that destroys an artifact? Exiles Graveyard. Uh, the 3-3 three, Duder. Three this guy, Frillback. We have enough mana that we can almost always do every part of this. So we could get the life, destroy something, get rid of a graveyard. And this feels pretty good under the circumstances. You know, what the format kind of is right now. Even just being able to play it for four, gaining four life, buying you enough time against Mono Red or against those, uh, the Boros Aggro deck, something like that, could be pretty good. Again, it's not Kura, it's not a Flyer or whatever, but maybe we just go to the extra frill back on top of it, and this just covers more bases for us. I do really like the fact that we get something when we cast it, the same way when we play Kura, but I think maybe this is our card of choice for the time being. So, if not that, Cut a frill back, play another negate. Uh, still at 23 creatures. If we cut a frill back, we'd be at 22 creatures. Still totally reasonable. The Bonnie Paul, I thought having four was going to be too many, but it turns out it actually was fine. Like, we were able to cast it almost every time but once, I think. So, yay us? I don't know. But, yeah, so here's what I'm going to say. I'm about to give you the deck list that we played, but... If you think too many Bonnie Pauls are too many, or you don't want to spend the rares on it, cut a Bonnie Paul, play an extra negate. Or, if you're still concerned about some things, cut a Frill back, play another negate. I tried playing the the green-blue X spell that like puts counters and counters a spell, but it's just not where we want to be. We have too many lands that come into play tapped, and we're trying to do too many things. That's not really what you want. But, the list... 4 Get Lost, 3 Negate, 4 Azusa's Many Journeys, 4 Bristling Bill, 4 Lookout, 4 Green Blade, 3 Frillback, 4 Rattleworm, 4 Bonnie Paul, an Island, Beseju, 3 Forest, 4 Lonely Arroyo, 4 Creosote Heath, 3 Botanical Sanctum, 4 Lush Oasis, 2 Restless Vinestalk, 3 Yavamai Coast, 1 Conduit Pylons, and 1 Sandstorm Verge. So yeah, this one was pretty fun. Cool to play around new themes. Obviously, if you did want to try some of the new dragons, I built a pretty sweet Rakdos list that you may want to check out too. But that's all of you for now. We'll see you next time.